Cristiano Ronaldo has been at the top of football for nearly the past two decades. His contribution to the sport has been unlike anything that we have seen in modern times. The Portuguese superstar is arguably one of the greatest players ever to play the game of football. CR7 has achieved everything that there is to achieve at club level, including five Champions Leagues and five Ballon d'Or wins. First Ballon d'Or win coming in 2008 when he was awarded the Ballon d'Or. Since then, he went on to become the most expensive player in history at the time, signing from Manchester United to Real Madrid for a world record breaking fee of 80 million euros. The Portuguese superstar also went on to make history, becoming the first man to win three of Europe's major leagues. The Serie A title, the La Liga title, and the Premier League, becoming a champion in three of those countries. The 37-year-old forward began his career at Sporting Lisbon, but found his success at Manchester United, rising to the top and introducing himself to the footballing world. He had big shoes to fill, left from David Beckham, who was being moved on by Sir Alex Ferguson, and Sir Alex Ferguson decided to take the risk and give him the iconic number seven jersey at Manchester United. Many had their doubts about the skinny Portuguese kid who came from obscurity and relatively unknown parts of the world. The island of Madeira, which is an island that is part of Portugal but is not connected to mainland Portugal. As we reflect and look back on history now, we see that the skinny Portuguese kid proved us all wrong, cementing his place in history, becoming a legend in the game, the top goal scorer of all time, and an icon in the game of football. It is an undisputed fact that the one club that showed him the most unconditional love and support, no matter what, has always been Manchester United. The Old Trafford fans have always had a strong love affair for their Portuguese star. This is where he became a man from a boy. Fans, crowds and audiences got to witness the journey right before their very own eyes, watching a boy evolve into a beast of a goal scorer and a machine on the pitch. As we have seen a few years ago, Cristiano found himself in some really bad form and he was actually booed at the Santiago Bernabeu by his own Madrid fans. If you ask many Juventus fans, they will let you know that there are some mixed feelings when thinking about Cristiano's time. He did achieve, however, he did not achieve everything that was promised initially when he had signed for 100 million euros. In 2018. He also left a bad taste in the mouths of many Juventus fans, leaving on the final deadline day of the transfer window and leaving the club scrambling. Many believed that Cristiano Ronaldo would be the difference and finally get them the Champions League that they were yearning so long for. This was how this big money signing was justified and marketed, but as we all know, unfortunately, he was unable. The first club Cristiano ever won a Champions League with was with Manchester United in 2008. This was his crowning moment and in the same year, he was awarded his first Ballon d'Or. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo has unfortunately done something that is very difficult to come back from for any player. He has been causing chaos, drama and instability at Manchester United 
for the past few months. Following a similar stunt that he had just previously done when he left Juventus, demanding to leave abruptly, also leaving a match at halftime that was being played during a preseason friendly. Now, this may have been forgiven in preseason, or if Cristiano was returning the goals as he usually did at a superb and high level which he has not been doing lately. But a few weeks ago, Cristiano Ronaldo has gone on to do a similar thing, except now it has been received with way more backlash and there has been way more spotlight. During a Premier League match against Tottenham Hotspur, he refused to be put on and come on the field as a substitute by manager Ten Hag. He angrily stormed off and walked down the tunnel and refused to come out and watch the rest of the match and watch his team win. Manchester United winning 2-0 against Tottenham Hotspur. This was a home game and happened in front of the Manchester United fans who were at Old Trafford that evening. Manager Ten Hag went on to say that he will deal with the situation and promptly dropped him for the next match. As we have seen in the last few days, following the action that Cristiano took, many die-hard and loyal Manchester United fans that have always stood by Ronaldo no matter what, have finally had their breaking points with the Portuguese forward. Many fans had looked past Cristiano's ego and narcissism as he was still really good on the pitch, affecting games, impacting them and scoring goals at an incredibly large rate. However, this return has diminished over the years and now where once Cristiano used to be viewed as an asset to the team and club, he is now viewed as a liability and a burden on the club, team and the fans. I believe that this is Cristiano Ronaldo's attempt to force a move for the January transfer window coming up after the World Cup. No club was willing to sign him in the August transfer window that has just passed. This action that Cristiano took was a big slap to the fans of Manchester United as he was saying indirectly that the club was beneath him, he wanted Champions League football and he did not want to ride it out and help the team and club get back to where they once were and get them back into the Champions League. We see now that this season Cristiano is struggling in the Premier League to score and is having a tough time finding the back of the net on Thursday nights in the Europa League, the league he was trading so bad not to play for. I get why Cristiano Ronaldo is conducting himself and carrying himself the way that he has been, but he is going about it totally the wrong way. With the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar being under less than a month away, this is something that the Portuguese striker really does not need. He needs to be focused on earning his right to play and be selected in that Portuguese squad for the World Cup because it is a young, vibrant team and his place is not certified for the first time. The FIFA World Cup is also the one trophy that is missing from Cristiano Ronaldo's illustrious trophy cabinet and he needs to focus on winning that, otherwise many believe that he will not be or cannot be considered the greatest football player. This is also a bad look on Ronaldo as any big potential club that was looking out to sign him will surely not want to sign him now. You are going to be burdened with a headache, an aging player that is no longer as mobile as he once was and he will disrupt any chemistry that is going on in the changing room, the dressing room and on the pitch with the players. 
Even if Ronaldo was professional and carrying himself the way he should be as a 37-year-old man, it would still be difficult for him to find a new club with the wages and salary that he demands. 500,000 euros a week or even half of that at 250,000 euros. Many clubs feel that at the stage of his career, the juice is not worth the squeeze and you definitely decrease enormously the amount of clubs that are willing to take you on when all you are bringing is no goals, no assists, no contribution on the pitch, but negative contributions off the pitch. With that being said, this is why I believe Cristiano Ronaldo's career at the top of football is officially over. His next move, wherever it might be, will definitely not be at one of the biggest clubs in the world, as many clubs can simply not afford what he is demanding and do not want to be burdened with the headache, turmoil, drama and chaos that Cristiano Ronaldo brings to a club. Potential moves that he might pursue are in the MLS, which is the American Soccer League, and the Saudi Arabian Football League. Ronaldo's days at the top are definitely over, and Cristiano has contributed massively. He has always had attitude issues, but his performances that were so great and high have always papered over the cracks and now at his age without the performance but the behavior is still there we will see how things go with Ronaldo and how his situation develops he definitely needs to prioritize the right things at this stage of his career as the clock is running down unfortunately we are witnessing one of the greatest to ever play the game self-destructing can cristiano ronaldo do what no man has ever done before and come back from this thank you very much guys for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you like the content please make sure to leave a like on the video thumbs up subscribe if you are new and watching here for the first time join our community here at the south central and I wish you guys nothing but the best. Thank you very much. One love. And I'll see you next time.